All right, friends, welcome. I don't want to freak you out, and I don't want to overhype things. But this is... Whoa, look at the score. This is the only time that these players, these eight players, have ever played in a game together over the Earth's history. That's right. The only time. And this is the only game that probably will happen with these eight players over the Earth's history. I don't know. Maybe they'll all come friends after this. But it's eight players. It's eight kings. It's regicide free for all. You guys probably already know it. Um, the goal is to be the last king standing. And so let or waddling. So let's see how things play out here. We've got uh, a, a whole bunch of players who haven't played before. One or two names I recognize from the past, but I expect a lot of new personality in this game. In the purple, we have No Trick Pony playing as the Koreans. In the red, we have uh Hylian West playing as the Slavs. Entered to play into this community game, ended up getting selected via my rigging process, right? And then was like, hey, I'm new to this. Is, are we playing now or is it like later? <laughs> I was like, how'd you expect this to work? Anyways, finally got red here and red is ready to go. Uh, in the gray, we have bird loving Asian playing as the gods. In the yellow, we have Lava Land playing as the Byzantines. In the uh, teal, we have Pythene, 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 I don't know, one of those playing as the Mongols. Actually, it's been a long time since we've seen Mongols in a community game, and Mongols are really strong, so I'm curious. Uh, in the orange, then, we have Paddington, the second, playing as the Portuguese. In the blue, we have the one above all, playing as the Romans. And uh, last but not least, we have... Dr. Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus. Is there a limit on how long names can be? Because that's filling up most of my screen. Can you imagine? The good thing he doesn't have any more titles on top of Doctor, you know? Anyways, playing as the Vikings here. And yeah, you know what? I do have my Pine Tree mod. It's so convenient to play, though. I just can't get enough of it. But I'll do this for you guys, all right? This is what the trees are supposed to look like. Whoa, that's a lot of tree. I know it's going to be jarring for people. All right, especially people who play this game a lot. But it's a community game. All right, this is what the game used to look like. Let's appreciate the trees. All right, and let's just enjoy it. So uh, we've done Mega Random here, and there's quite a few relics in the middle. Um, I can't count them all, but I'm guessing about a dozen. So that could be something to think about. There's plenty of stone, plenty of wood, clearly, plenty of gold. Uh, but more so stone. Like, there is just stone freaking everywhere in the middle area here. Now, what's cool is there's water, so if you want to fish, it's possible. There's not a lot of fish available. But, guys, this is so rare. Like, there's islands that actually have value out here with all these little gold piles. So, shout out to Mega Random for being exceptionally good here. Uh, I really like that. Players, obviously, will have to scout that because it's, you know, not explored at the moment, so... So I'm, I'm excited. I think there's probably more gold than stone on the map. It's just the fact that the gold is spread out really makes things different here. Okay, so green must be new. Green's the only one who hasn't allied everybody. I did say at the start where those options are. So had green actually garrisoned the TC there, it would have killed Teal's King. <laughs> and there would have been an explosion then in green's base. So it's good for green that that didn't end up happening. I think we've got two, potentially three people who are playing in their first community game here. Um, I do not remember those names. And finally, Green. Okay. Almost as if Green heard me say that. We're running on a big delay. There's no way that was the case. Uh, allies everyone and everyone's friends. So here we go. We got people starting to chat. Purple says, seems like we're next to each other. Want to ally? Red never responded. Rip. Uh, no Trick Pony now says, hi, do you want to ally? Saying this to red and then to green. And blue goes over to, to orange and says allies. So what I picked up on diplomatically is these guys are, um, they are chatting to individual people. They're not doing the, any of the sneaky little tricks where you could chat to everybody and say, hey, do you want to be friends? And just invite seven people to be friends with you. Yes. Some experienced community game players will do that been very personal thus far now, purple does say only talking to you so there's some slight 
lying involved there, but it's just convenient. Sorry, I bumped my mic. Yes. And Paddington says yes. Dr. Jonathan M. Prude M. M. Prudius Maximus says yes, I would love to. And Red's like, yeah, sure. Sorry, playing and looking at chat is hard. Sorry, it took a sec, Blue. Villagers tried to kill sheep, not under TC11. I will ally, my good sir. Top right, same happening. Sorry, there's a lot of energy in my bones right now. This is going to take some time. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think like Paddington the second is the name that stands out to me the most in terms of experience. But that just means I've seen the user around. I don't remember specific games where Paddington the second has been exceptionally strong compared to others. Bird loving Asian, uh, 28 eco right now and has fished. So, you know, that that sometimes can tell you the experience level of players, even double dock over here from green. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of fish uh, and he hasn't even scouted the deep fish there, but fishing is always good if you can do it. And Blue just laughing because Paddington's like talking about how complicated this is and getting housed and whatever else. So perhaps a more relatable community game here. I'm excited to see how things play out. How does Regicide Free-For-All differ from Regicide Diplo? Well, I suppose a free-for-all would mean that you cannot ally people, and then diplomacy would mean... Oh, it's because I have... I, I never know what to type up here. I guess I should just do Regicide Diplomacy. Sorry. I never know what to put up there, and, and I feel like I put it, something slightly different up there every time. Like, sometimes I put Exploding Kings at the top, sometimes I put it at the bottom... Um, that's my bad, but yeah. So, I did forget to tell the host to turn off shared exploration, so they actually can see each other's vision here in the Dark Age. Uh, which is not something I'm a fan of. That is standard now for ranked games and whatnot, but... The Dark Age should remain the Dark Age. I feel like it's nice to have to, you know, build a building in order to see what your allies are doing. Um, but... You know, it, it is good because there may still be that bug where you have to have a relic collected to be able to see what your allies do, which we'll experiment with later. Bird loving Asian, top score right now, playing as the Goths. The Goths can be terrified of the Byzantines and those cataphracts. And Bird loving Asian says, Hello, my Byzantine friend. How are things? Want to be buddy buddy? No response. Oh, never mind. Yellow response says, Yeah. Uh, and then. Red also being contacted here says, have you been allied with anyone else, Red? Red has been talked to a lot. And Red ha is also the lowest score. So this is the player who, again, was like, this is my first time. Wasn't even 100% certain that we were having the game right now. There was some confusion. I give props to Red for trying to keep up with chat. I think some people watching are like, oh my god, that would be so me right now. 20 villagers, you know trying to chat but clearly just the execution isn't exactly there a red could be a true underdog story here but there's been no scheming right i think these guys are going to be rather timid and what i'm also not seeing is a bully right like normally every good game needs a heal someone who you know is, is a little evil has a little devil on the inside We've seen some players be a little bit quieter than others, but I think these players all fall in the same category of, I just don't want to be the first to die here. I'd love to have some friends, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, I approve of Orange's decision to mill deer. Yeah, 100%. Especially if you're docking. Oh, we have a transport ship. <laughs> okay, this is funny. So actually, Orange is, is going to maybe tell people, or at least show people that these islands have gold. It's not expecting a transport right now, but a little explorer over here, Paddington the second. Whoa, did you see that transport? Whoa, you see it again? All right. But yeah, I mean, you have if you want to explore every single island, you're going to be here a while, but usually maps have some consistency to it. So if one of the islands has gold, all the other ones are going to have gold. So you could just use that logic. Wow, so bird-loving Asian... Had a really good build up towards Castle Age, and then now all the way to Castle Age, all the messages are being sent trying to form alliances. So it seems like yellow, red, and purple will be friends. 
And then, interestingly enough, Green talking to Purple, who is Green's neighbor. But then also Teal. Who's on the other side of the map. But I would want to be friends with the Mongols, personally. Mongols are one of the best civs for this. I think Mongols might be the best civ if you exclude Bombard Tower play. I think... If you really wanted to be like super safe and you know it's a billion dollar match you want to win i think going spanish for trade and bombard towers would probably be smart i think that trade bonus is too good to pass up oh my god he's exploring every single <laughs> this i'm laughing because this takes a lot of work this is just so much work and there how many islands are there I don't want to count them. Well, actually, I'm kind of tempted to. Can we do it real quick? Hold on. Let's zoom out for this. Okay, let's just do it each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. And I don't remember if I counted this one. That is a lot of islands. And orange is, I mean, you've seen enough already to, to, you know, get some reward. If orange continues to move around scouting all these islands, all the allies are going to be very grateful. Everyone else should really appreciate that. Wow, okay. Green being real nice. Like, hey, there's some relics between us. Would you like them? It's been a very kind and peaceful game thus far. And Purple says, no, you take the relics. I'll take the others. Oh, it's so nice. It's almost too nice. I'm, I feel like there needs to be a disturbance here. Someone, there's been zero back talking. It's been super wholesome. All right. Teal talking about how good the day is. Got into a community game. Yellow was eating food in Dark Age and says, yeah, I'm done eating now. Good stuff. I want to know what Yellow ate. Just booming for now. Okay. What do we think yellow ate? What would Labaland eat? I don't know. I would thought of salmon, but that's just because I'm in love with salmon. So. All right. Reds and Castlades. Let's go red. Players could be building up more town centers once they're in castle. Red may consider doing that here shortly. Um, Relics could be nice too. This castle from No Trick Pony is going to secure a lot of extra stone. And actually, normally, I don't think the Koreans... I don't even really say that the Koreans have an eco bonus because it feels like mining stone faster doesn't... It doesn't apply in a lot of situations, but on this map, it does. There's stone everywhere. Really good sieve to have. Actually, really good sieve for late game as well, so not bad for community games. Gray wants to know who else purple is allied with. Yellow wants to know who else yellow or gray wants to know who else yellow is yellow is allied with. And gray is also sharing that uh they're chill with red and purple. Okay, so normally how much talking is happening is an indicator of how strong a team's going to be. So, uh it does feel like this region if you just look at my cursor on the mini map feels like these players here are going to be really kind now what's weird is yellow is also friends with teal right and then purple's already friends with green so i don't know like maybe they will want to join in but then i think paddington and the one above all i haven't seen the one above all say a single word i think they might actually be the odd man out at this point just because i'm not sure what people think about them at the moment Hmm. Okay, I have a question uh, for people on stream and obviously for videos and comments later. I saw one comment and like the nature of this man is like, you know, certain comments just stick with you and one person says they have an issue with something. You then wonder, well, if one person said it. Maybe there's 10 more that don't have an issue with it. So I just got a question. Someone said it would be helpful if the size of my cursor would be bigger and i was thinking about it and i'm like i record in 4k i zoom out a lot you know i do want you guys to see my cursor that's important because i need to like right there when i was showing the teams i want you to see this 
I'm curious if it was if it if I could somehow make my cursor, let's say twice as big, would that be desirable for people? If it is, let me know. Yeah, even if it was just a little bit easier to see, like, especially if you're watching on your phones or something, it might be nice. I don't know. Never realized you had a cursor. Okay, well that's bad. It's not the size of the cursor; it's how you use it. Well, I think I'm using my cursor yes. okay. All right, I've I've heard good things. Big cursor would be good. I just just stare at the cursor and forget the game. Okay, so some people say it wouldn't hurt. I don't know. Is it a capture age option? Now you guys get to look at settings. It's probably not, right? Cursor size of cursor. Mm, no cursor option. I can maybe speak to them. I can maybe speak to them and see. We'll find out. But yeah, it's something I've been thinking about. I don't want it to be obnoxious. I don't want it to be annoying, so. No Trick Pony says, talking to you both, red and gray, we win this. That is like the first real like, yeah, moment in this game. Everyone else is being so kind. Just tell me if I should move my walls, by the way. If they're, I don't want to be building my fence up in your territory. I'm so sorry here, you know. Talking about trade and how you doing? Hey, you want to be friends? Yeah, let's be friends. Everyone's friends. Everyone's chill. <laughs> Guys, have I been ruined? The fact that I want the I want someone to be a bully right now. Have I been ruined? <laughs> I feel like this is just going to be a peaceful game the whole way, and they're going to choose sides, and they're going to fight, and they're going to apologize. Don't forget, they're going to apologize. Like, I'm so sorry. You know, we got it. 290 is going to be bored. <laughs> Everyone's been so kind. In some games, you know, people are a little bit too brutal. This game here, everyone's just happy to be here. Okay, so green goes over to purple, says, hey, do you want to ally with blue? And teal saying yellow's been nice. Make a team with yellow. Green says, thank you for the relic, homie. <laughs> I'm the bully now. I'm not bullying them for being nice. It's just, it's, they're all in a similar spot where I think they're all kind of fresh to community games. And they're all being real chill with each other. I like it. You know, something that has, that has really surprised me over the last couple of years is how it feels like every community game is rather unique. Like, I mean, guys, I'm using a lot of my my thumbnails and a lot of my titles these days are from quotes from people in these games. And it's just, there's always something different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big moment in the game. Big moment in the game. Okay, okay. All right, so green said, do you want to ally with blue? Purple said, I'm allied with red as well. No problem, saw orange too close. And then for whatever reason... Green goes, okay, never mind, then screw blue. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is like when you went to your first PG movie growing up and they said like the word, I don't even know what that would be. What What is like a bad word in a PG movie? I, it's, oh God, I, I don't know, but you say ass in PG movies? I don't know. Anyways, um, that's a big deal. He said, screw him. Gray asking about plans. Trying to figure things out. Purple says, should we kill someone? They're now talking about killing in a war game. Is, did they say damn in PG movies? I don't know, man. Red says, only playing online for a few months now. And just trying to survive. Red, I respect your attempt. You played very well thus far. 54 villagers, pretty solid. But we've got the big three established at this point economically, right? Bird-loving Asian... No Trick Pony and P Python, Python. Um, I mean, Jonathan and the one above all, and then Paddington, not too far behind them, but definitely feels like yellow and red are a bit weaker. Purple thinking about it and says, Orange seems easy. His king is in the tower. And yeah, that king is in the tower. It, it would be kind of funny, though. I feel like other people have their kings in towers, right? It'd be kind of funny if they did, and then Purple's allies are like, oh, shoot, I should probably move my king, too. Reminder, though, that kings explode, all right? That that needs to be, you know, 
it's a very important aspect of this whole thing. Now, I'm going to switch over to military tab because I'm starting to see people thinking about stuff. And I just don't want to be surprised by anyone making moves. No trick pony is going to be really hard to stop. You can make a lot of war wagons with these castles. And, uh, you know, it definitely seems like no trick pony is getting a little antsy here. Talking a little bit about trade. As far as the civs that I think can be the most devastating in the late game, I would say the Mongols, the Koreans, the Goths. And then the Byzantines as well, honestly. But that's if they get lots of castles. I'm not seeing any from yellow yet. And purple opens up the conversation to everybody. And just says, hi all, how are you doing? But the, the biggest fight in words I've seen was when green said, screw blue. For whatever reason, I think it was just blue didn't respond. I don't know. And red blaming the keyboard for a typo. Red, you're fine. Nobody saw that. I would never bring up someone's typo. It is kind of funny, though, how you're upset about a typo and then tried to blame the keyboard. And then you misspelled the keyboard. But you got it the third time. The green says down for either prefer blue. Okay, so green has something against blue. And is making berserks at the moment. And also has some archers with the scout with the scouts and also with the monks. So they're talking about orange, and orange is talking about trade. Now look at orange's strategy, guys. The player who scouted the islands, the player I haven't talked too much about since. Going for Fatorius here. So these buildings, they take up a lot of your population space. They take up 20 Papas of uh, Fatoria, but it brings in resources infinitely. And they're talking about Arnch's King, and Arnch's King right now is now in the castle. It's not in the tower anymore. So it could be a little bit tougher to kill. Arnch did talk about trading to the docks. I love how Yellow said, wait, we are doing docks? <laughs> I like how it all it's all like a team conversation here. But yeah, the purple still remains that player who I think will go for someone's king, but you can't exactly use the war wagons if the king is on the island. As long as you have the ability to make your own navy, I think having your king here isn't a bad idea, but we'll see if Orange chooses to do that. I think early Fatoria just puts a target on you. I don't know what puts a target on anybody in this type of game. This game is very different. Like, this to me... I think it just comes down to how strong your early alliances were, right? Like, how many people do you talk to? If you happen to talk to three or four people and you're all chill, then that benefits you because there's less people on the other side of that. But people are not really... There, there's been no hostility. There's been no... This guy didn't ally me. This guy didn't talk to me. None of that, really. And they're just going to trade away. And this may be trade and banking resources before they fight because of this hesitancy. No one, like, there's going to be a lot of players here who maybe lack faith in themselves. And so they're probably thinking, okay, stay alive. Bank as much gold as possible before the fighting starts. Green is making longboats, though. And, I mean, longboats can be good... You know, if, if you want to kill this king. I don't think making Fatorias puts as big a target on your back as, say, making lots of Bomber Towers would. So. Orange is really taking advantage of the islands, though. I, I Which I really like. I scouted a lot of these islands. And other players have done so as well since. Going for the kill on blue. His king is next to his dock. <gasps> This is purple. Easy with ships. Okay, so this seems to be a team then, right? Gray, purple, green, and red. And green says when. And then gray just says wish you luck. Like, <laughs> gray is like not going to be involved. So this is going to be a sneaky snipe here. Well, I mean, as sneaky as you can be with giant wagons that are going to clog up the trees here. But yeah, this is... <laughs> I feel like playing the Pink Panther music right now. 
Don't go in a line. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, Blue, do you notice this giant streak of purple coming into your base? <laughs> oh, wait, purple's pulling them back. Okay. <laughs> one at a time, guys. One at a time. All right, he's going to hide in Gray's houses. It's, that's fine. I don't think Blue would have noticed anything there. I want to check Blue's res. Okay, so Blue's got lots of res. And Blue is upgrading stuff with the docks right now. So the one above all, uh, he must realize that something's happening. And he, yeah, he just got turned on by purple. And now he has run with his king. So is he prepped to make army? Are you also in these moments, you have the enemy people that are attacking you. And then ideally also ask for help and say, hey, guys, these guys are, are attacking me. Now, this is where if blue stays alive, which is to be seen, purple could be seen as a bully. And then we have a little bit of our drama. But I mean, right now, there's been no resistance from poor Blue, and Blue hasn't even enemied these people. So I think Blue's clearly stressed. And as remembered, the make army part and is prepped for that, but really needs to get the king out of here. And now it needs to declare war and has declared war now, but the king is in the TC, and the king is somehow still alive. I. I think they all must have forgotten about it. Why is the king following the wagon? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. The kings are not important here, guys. I think I've always, I've always explained that kings are not important in registered games. Okay, blue goes down. Sad times for blue. It had to happen to somebody. Blue goes down. There will be an explosion, which will clear a lot of this out. Green is happy. Green didn't like blue for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, Blue, in all fairness, did struggle to really talk to people, right? Didn't speak to a lot of people about friendship. And maybe that's why Blue was the target. Anyways, Explosion clears out the remainder of Blue's base. Blue's the first to go down. And now Green has been turned on by Orange. And I think that's simply because Orange was here trying to disrupt... Oh, God, not trying to hit Orange. And this is what I said earlier. You don't have a big target on your back until you go the Bomber Tower approach. Now, elite caravels wreck longboats. They wreck longboats. Longboats have no chance against caravels. Green has found that out the hard way today. And look at the approach from Orange. So now, I think is when people might want to be like, hey, Mr. Fatoria guy, he's got a building in the Fatoria that gives him stone and gold forever. And he's spending stone and gold on bomber towers. Um, this could, this could become an issue later. I, already, you can see the stone counts pretty ridiculous from the stone that was mined. We'll see how things go. But the only real disruption in the force was obviously blue's been taken out, but now green and orange are against each other. And now purple is trying to figure out what next. And this is an interesting spot to have your king here, purple. I like it though. There's going to be something aesthetic about this. But it's a very risky spot to be in right now. So, you know, I'm not hearing anything from Teal, but Teal is friends with Orange. Yellow, I think, is just here for the ride. I think Yellow is not going to want to fight for a long time. Teal now says, let's get green on land, Yellow. And so they're going to make a move towards green. Green stacking castles here. Again, tons of stone. And yellow is in, on, in for it and is going to make cataphracts. Hmm, interesting. I think green is with orange, not sure, says purple. Which, uh, that, uh, I'm not sure why he thinks that, because they're fighting each other, but it might be because of something I missed. Oh yeah, Gray notices. Gray says doesn't look like it. And then Green says Orange is attacking our trade. Purple now says oh, and Purple's like oh, okay. But yeah, I mean the trade was going this direction. And Orange in a good position now. Top score. Did nothing to save Blue. Like no one did anything to save poor Blue. Sad times for you, Blue. But again, on paper... 
in a game like this where everyone's very kind, everything's chill, I think the person who's talking the least is always going to be trusted the least, or there's going to be less reason to keep you around. So it's extremely difficult to chat in, you know, under the amount of pressure you're in when you join these games. And then also, you know, do the other aspects. Everyone always says when they play their first one, holy crap, it's hard to balance it. But just things to think about. I think it is better to have a worse economy and be chatter than it is to have great economy and not. Herp isn't buddy with green, I think. He was just asking about killing green. Ooh, wait a second. Little backdoor conversations here, Gray. Talking to yellow and talking to teal. Like, hey, I think we might be able to get rid of them. Anyways, orange is turned on now by purple. And I mean, makes sense. Orange is pretty much prioritizing water. So they can clear out all of his land. But this guy's making a million bombard towers right now. And I, you guys, you guys in the past, we had a mod which added population space to Bombard Towers so you couldn't mass them. It added like one pop per Bombard Tower. And the reason for that is mass Bombard Towers could be ridiculous at times. And it's only going to get crazier for Arch. Like he is going for all the islands right now. All right, so here comes some Mangadai from Teal. Bang and I from Teal, I assume, are here in support of Orange. But he's currently standing right next to Purple, so I can't really tell. Gray's coming here as well. And Gray's going to push Orange. Uh, actually, I think... I don't know exactly what side Teal is on at the moment. But Orange is going to start losing all these towers. And yeah, okay, so Teal turns on Purple. And it is, is defending Orange at the moment. Gray continues to run right into Bombard Towers, which is a little painful, but not as painful as losing all your trebuchets to Mangadai. I think there's some confusion. I don't think No Trick Pony realizes what's happening. But ultimately, very good for Orange's position because he's disrupted the other trade line, right? And then he's got someone defending him at the moment. And then there's yellow. Like, yellow was going to make cataphracts to support teal against green before. So I suppose yellow is going to use these cataphracts against purple. Which means purple really needs help. The green is also pushing on this side. Where the Fatoria player is just making more and more towers and castles. So this will take some time. But again, the eco for orange... It does come in slower than standard eco would. Like, than having villagers in trade. But obviously, you're kind of less exposed because you just have to protect these buildings. So we'll see. I think it's a timing thing. We'll get yellow. Did I call this earlier or what? Sorry, green. People told me I should kill you, frowny face. <laughs> yellow, just own it. <laughs> just own it. <laughs> Yeah, I love the, the classic apology before you start attacking someone. All right, so trying to wrap my head around the, the situation, but it's getting clearer. We've got orange, we've got yellow, and we've got teal together. Now, gray was against orange and is still against orange. So I feel as though eventually gray's going to be like, yo, yellow, what's the deal? And yellow's a people pleaser. So I think yellow is going to want to do whatever people ask of him. If that ends up being the case, then that could be a little awkward. You should have... This is just purely a Civ thing. Like, if you're green right now, you have no chance against Scatterfrax. You have no chance against Megadai. These are two of the best civilizations in diplomacy. What you need is you need a team. And purple hasn't been fighting with you, green, this whole game. Yes. It might be focused on water. It's might be a bit of a skill issue as well. I, I don't know. Purple was active before. And he started it all against blue. And ever since, green has been getting pushed back. Now, those are elite organs. I've said recently, I think the new elite organs are way better than the old organs were. Elite organs specifically. A really strong unit, especially against goth. So I think orange should be able to hold. Aren't just 64 army. Really strong navy. Cannon galleons and caravels taking out things from the shoreline. Denying the trade. And then a working guns here too. 
So I think that green and purple will be the next to go down. Purple's king is in the corner. So he escaped with his king. But green has escaped into purple's base right now. We'll see how long purple's base even stays. Green getting a little upset. Should should something bomb in yellow base? Should Hail Mary bomb in yellow base? He couldn't say Hail Mary, Chad Filter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i think green and purple are realizing we're probably dead so maybe the best thing we can do is use our king use our bomb and at least make them pay for killing us and you know it's a possibility but i don't know like green probably should consider it purple might still feel like there's hope because of having a lot of wagons and having the king in a safe space the gray is still fighting the good fight. Still really curious what will happen. The fact that gray and yellow are friends right now is interesting. Gray will need yellow. If Byzantines turn on the Goths, the Byzantines will wreck with those cataphracts. So, seeing as Goths don't really have much of an answer to that, I think that gray and yellow, for gray's sake, need to be friends. For yellow, I think yellow made it clear. Yellow is okay with being friends with as many people as possible. Okay, so the castle... Had, that had green's king in it is now down. I don't know if green knows the king is moving. There would have been a rally point set on that castle. And the king could be going to wherever that location was. Wherever purple was massing army. Which, I mean, could have been in the middle of the map. <laughs> hey, shout out to red. We haven't talked about red yet. Red's got 90 army. King is just passing. I don't think green has any clue. We might see green saying soon, I don't know where my king is, which would be really difficult to find. There's no idle king hotkey. But maybe maybe he is controlling this, because he said he wanted to go to, uh, to yellow. He says to purple, I think I should end it in orange base. Okay, where is this going? Purple says no, go to yellow. <laughs> Wait, so yellow gets asked... Yellow gets asked to, to help... And then yellow gets bombed. <laughs> That's the ideal world for teal. Oh god, here comes red. I mean, gray's still been fighting the good fight here. Red's trying to make a move. And orange hasn't enemied red yet. I'm sure orange will in a moment. Orange seems to have played really well this game. It's really good unit control. Here's green. Still trying to make it close to yellow, which is what purple wants. And there orange turns on red. So, th this still seems like this king is going through a massive maze. But eventually, because yellow has overtopped, this king will go into yellow's base. Yellow has no clue. And I think yellow being out of the game will mean that the goths could have more strength later on. It then also means that, you know, maybe teal and... Uh, uh, maybe teal and orange won't have the support they need later on. But king is dead. Now you see somebody die. You might instinctively think we did that. So teal's like, nice. Great job, team. We did it. What a team effort. But in reality, what's going to happen here is there's going to be a massive explosion in yellow's base. Yellow doesn't know about this. Gray's dropping castle foundation. So gray doesn't know about this either. And the explosion's going to happen any minute now. And now yellow's dead. So big boom. Well played from green. Well played to take another player out with you. Now yellow's finished off. And now there'll obviously be another explosion thanks to Exploding Kings. And some of that might affect gray, but or teal rather. Uh, I think the king will be fine. So again, you know, the, the top two are on their own now. They do not have the support of the Byzantine Cataphracts. <laughs> and green says, regards from Dr. Prudo. Love it. And now I think people are a little confused on how that happened. Teal is asking if Gray did that. And we'll see how things play out from here. But I like it from Green. So many players, they, they don't want to die. It, you know, they have all these dreams of community games going a certain way. But sometimes life doesn't pan out like that. And you've got to just, you know, just die in someone's base and explode them. <laughs> uh, you, you know what I mean, right? If it's Exploded Kings... You just got to make use of it. Teal's still like, who did it? I don't understand what's happening. 
By the way, purple held with navy earlier. Orange does have some navy over here, but not the same amount as before. And orange is advanced forward with towers. I mean, there could be a multitasking thing. Yellow giving credit to green here. And they're going to talk it out in, you know, heaven, I suppose. But, like, for orange to have to have navy because the Fatorias are on water and also because there's attacking happening on water and the king. But then also for orange to have to deal with land, that could be a problem eventually. So let's see. I haven't seen too much from red beyond that one wave that went in towards orange. That's actually a, considering the matchup, this is actually a really good fight for gray. He's killing a lot of organ guns. And Gray now going over to Teal says, Hey, Teal, if we get to finish Orange, want to team up against the other two. That could be a pretty good deal for you, Teal. But then again, Teal is trading with Orange, and they've... I want to say they fought together for a while. They, they fought for the same cause. They haven't exactly fought together. But Teal thinking it. And Gray's just like, sorry, just recover from the explosion. Like, Gray's being real, real kind and... Gray isn't very threatening. Like, who... Sorry, Gray, but the, your username's just not as threatening as Paddington the second. Like, oh no, the bird-loving Asian is coming to kill me. I mean, I guess if you say it in the right tone, if there's like a real spooky trailer with a lot of edits, maybe in 2023 someone could make that spooky, but... I think Teal's gonna do it. Teal's like, okay, you're not top scorer. Teal probably taking a second look over at Orange and thinking, this guy isn't going to want to work with me. This is a, this isn't trade. This is a solo venture. Just four Fatorias, by the way. Res collected. Um, yeah, res collected looking pretty decent. Stone count obviously lower, but a lot of castles have been placed. A lot of towers have been placed as well. And we have elite turtle ships and fast fires pushing back Orange here on water. But yeah, the Bombard Towers would be really helpful. Having said that, they're going to get shot down by the Elite Cannon Galleons from No Trick Pony. Well played from No Trick Pony to hold in this game. But a lot of this does stem from green. Like, green really helped No Trick Pony by killing yellow. Because the second yellow was out of the game, it seems like everyone calmed down and was like, Whoa, this just got too real for me, you know? Paddington the second sounds like someone who just eats crumpets all day. Exactly. Terrifying. Just terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, 22 Bombard Cannons? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, I see your gunpowder and I raise you at, you know, well above pot limit. What in the world? The purple continues to fight Teal. So they're discussing. Uh, I would prefer Elite Mangadai here. Mangadai just fired too quickly. Wagons are tanky, but Mangadai are ridiculous. Purple! Purple needs to figure out where the allegiances are in the long run. In all honesty. Because th there's no benefit for Purple just continuing to fight Teal if everyone else is allied with Teal. Wait. Now Red is fighting Teal as well. Wait, what? Huh? Does Red think... I think Red think... Huh? I think there's confusion here. Teal's gonna turn on Red. Wait, what? <laughs> Gray goes over to Purple and says, Yo, shouldn't we finish Orange first? So now Red is gonna be attacked by Orange, but is also gonna be attacked by Teal. I think Red just got antsy. Or maybe Red has the allegiance to Purple. That would actually make sense. Red is friends with Purple and saw that Purple was being attacked. All right, so there's a lot of interesting fights happening here. Um, so in the end, Red's going to do a bit of damage here towards Teal. Red's in the middle of battle, and Red also is the lowest score. So I imagine Red's still really struggling to to balance the talking with the fighting. But I th Red has fought in waves, so it wouldn't surprise me if now Red sees the messages. Red with a little bit of navy headed this way. Interesting decision. We'll see what Red wants to do with that. Feels like Red might want to kill Teal's trade. 
Player seven, enemy teal. This is now purple. So I don't know what the crap's going on. Like gray is saying, guys, let's team up versus orange. And then purple and red are basically like kill teal because teal is teamed with orange. So they're kind of in the same ballpark. They all have the same idea. They're very anti this area, but it's not coordinated in how they're doing it. I don't think they know that Teal is interested in also fighting against Orange. They don't know that. And if you didn't have that bit of detail, I think it would be confusing too. Like here, Red says, I thought Teal wasn't on our team. Yeah, that's it. Gray says, this is why people struggle with Diplo 11. Kill me. That is just to us, by the way. So Gray is complaining. And he Gray is now also letting us know their favorite type of bird. All right, Hardy, can we edit in? That type of bird, put it on the screen somewhere? Because I'm not Googling that right now. I just thought it was a username, but I guess it makes sense that Gray's a big fan of birds. Yo, Teal, I need to make a decision. Are you with Orange? Says Gray. I see you trading with him. Yes, that's true. That's true. I appreciate him calling that out. Red's King is being attacked. Red's King is dead. Teal has killed Red. As Gray was looking for some type of peace talks. And Gray says, well, that answers it. And Orange is like, let's go team. Red is dead. Sad times for Red. There's going to be an explosion. And Purple realizes that's bad. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, maybe Teal was just kind of taking Gray for a ride. Maybe Red and Purple were correct in attacking Teal when they did. So... You know, Teal, to me, doesn't seem like he's trying to be deceitful about it. He says, yeah, I'm getting attacked by purple and red. I think Teal thought that maybe, you know, he could have the best of both worlds. But as the confusion was happening, Teal just slid right on in there, killed Red's king. That was very well played. And uh, the Red's now out of the game, and there's four people. So I think this could just turn into a 2v2 from here. Because clearly... Purple doesn't trust Teal. And I think Gray also is lacking a little bit of trust after seeing Red get sniped like that. And I think that's all very good for Orange. The player who has big navy, has the bombard towers, has the Vatorius. Oh, that bird is awesome, actually. Yeah, Hardy will edit it in later into the video. That bird looks really cool. Listen, I think birds look cool... But, like, there's something freaky about him, you know? Yes. I, maybe this is the wrong video to say that. But, like, birds have mysterious potential for power. And they, majority of birds, they, they seem erratic, even if they're not. I don't know how to describe it exactly. So, I'm not a big truster of birds. Hmm. Yes. But, I like, a peregrine falcon, bald eagle, like, like big... Well, I guess Peregrine Falcon's not that big. Like, some birds could be really cool. But if you just, like... If you just look at a bird, it feels like it could destroy you at any time. It won't, usually. But I just, I just can't trust it. Did you have a bird incident in the past? No. I... No, I never had an incident, but I just don't trust birds. Yes. Unless you count Muscovy ducks. Muscovy ducks are everywhere in Florida. And Muscovy ducks... They lived amongst the Aztecs, guys. The Aztecs all died, but the Muscovy Ducks lived on and are still around today. They're free. Okay. You're going ham with the snipes. Need any resources? Feels like I'm fine. I'm only against purple. Gray says, hey, I'm assuming you two are together. May I stick with y'all two to finish Korean? Don't want to deal with war wagons. Arnt says yes, and then goes to Teal and says, do we want him? And Teal says, for now. And Gray says, well, if you don't, the goth spam goes the other way. I mean, true, Gray. But I feel like you kind of got out Diplo here. Like, I feel like the bird guy, or bird gal. Um, I feel like this isn't going to work out too well. I think that the upper hand goes to Paddington and, and Pethan at this point. I think turning on purple would almost be a little bit dirty at this stage. But I can understand maybe Gray wants to get that win. Okay, Purple's King is over here. Orange has just signaled it. And Purple's actually been massing Navy here. And Orange says, join his brother. 
And Orange is probably like, yeah, this is great. Like, to not have to deal with the Goths right now, we can just 3v1 purple, and then the second purple's gone, we can just kill Gray as well. That's perfect. I think that's what's going to happen here. Yeah, I'd, someone did think I was named Chicken before. But you guys know what I mean, right? Like, birds can be beautiful, but you can also recognize that if you look at their eyes, and you look at how quick their heads move around, and then you look at their talents, even the tiniest birds got pretty freaky talents. You just, I don't know, I can't trust them. Says the guy who, you know, spends his time talking about an old game on the internet and doesn't encounter as many birds as maybe you do. Just notice, Teal's been very smart, by the way. Villagers in all these castles kind of hiding where the king is located. King is actually located in a tower directly behind the castle that's very sneaky. Poor Purple. Purple is asking Gray to kill Teal at the moment. And I don't think Gray has any tricks up their sleeve at the moment. Gray is massing to go transport and go kill Purple. That is what is happening here. Also, we have Dramans. This is the first Draman in the community game or in community games. Been in the game for a bit now. Hyped to see this ship. And wait a second. Gray says to Purple, sorry, where was his king again? But he was just asking the other two where Purple's king was. I don't think Gray meant to send that to Purple. <laughs> I think he's got Purple on the mind because that's who he wants to snipe. But he's 100% going to snipe Purple. And he just said to Purple, where's the king again? <laughs> right or maybe he's gonna i mean he could be making a move for orange but i mean orange is pretty well established on water teals on land here goes poor purple i mean by the way war wagons still holding their own here but it, it's slow progress but it is progress nonetheless against purple i think purple will eventually just run out of resources if yellow was still in this game, purple would have been gone a long time ago. So great job again, green, for doing what you did. And now Grace is prepping drop. Okay, so here is the drop. Units headed into the transports. Wondering why purple brought this navy. Purple could actually have a chance at sniping teal. Purple might see some of this. Oh, because of yellow's trade carts! But you don't know which castle has the king. If you could see the tower, though, you should know. Okay, so he clicked that castle, but he has to kill this castle first. Purple's going to be very distracted. Gray's still massing. Purple has held. Wow, no trick ponies played very well. Where's orange, though? Like, orange, I guess, is on water. Yeah, orange is on water. And is making a move towards purple. So it has to happen soon for you, purple. I wonder if Teal's going to recognize this. I mean, it's all up in, per in Teal's trade. I feel like if the king does get ejected from the tower, it'll just stand there. Because the castle won't be there for it to garrison into. Normally what you do is you set the rally point from the tower into the castle. So if the tower goes down first, it goes into the castle next. But if the castle's not there, I'm pretty sure that the, the there's no direction for the king to go. Meaning there's a chance. Meaning there's a chance, guys. Meaning there's a chance. Okay, did Teal notice this? Teal's got traps. Okay, now the tower's standing there. Gray. Is Gray making the move? Not yet. Oh, wait. Gray's going another way. Whoa. So Gray was actually trying to speak to Purple earlier. Oh, that means he's going for Orange. Well, I I gained more respect for Grey with this move. I, it didn't seem like that Purple and Grey were really going to be fighting together. Because they just haven't been chatting as much. But yeah, great. They're chatting a little bit. Grey says, all right, I'm in with you. Yeah, even if you go out, Grey, I feel like this is the way to go out. Hmm. Also, someone just pointed out that the order in which people died in this game has been one, two, three, four in terms of player color. Hell, every demo's coming in. What's in these ships? There's hand cannons and other things. Well, this is where Gray wanted to go. 
Teal did have time to notice it, though. So Teal is okay for now. Trebs from Teal have gone down. Castles have gone down. Towers have gone down. A lot of bad things have happened. Orange is here to save the day, though. I think Teal will be able to stabilize with these steppies. Poking down everything. Well played, Teal. Meanwhile, Orange trying to make a move on water. And no trick pony defends. So we've got ourselves a 2v2, right? In case there was any question. Uh, in your minds, this is now a 2v2. I thought it was going to be a 3v1. So let's check resources. Actually, first we should watch these demos collide with the Dramans. They're kind of like a Cannon Galleon Manganel type ship. Very satisfying to see them get exploded, to be honest with you. Let me just watch this again before I show you the... Bam. Oh, yes. There you go. But yeah, I imagine because purple and gray don't have trade, they're struggling for gold, and the Fatoria guys got tons of it. Right? Um, that's not what I actually wanted to do. I just want to show stockpiles. Um, yeah, purple is really struggling for gold, which is quite bad. I think having relics, though, is going to help all these guys. The purple's resources aren't great. Resources are fine for gray. Resources are fine for orange. Resources are going to be fine for teal as well. So it's just really purple who struggled the most. But I feel, I mean, gray's got some trade, by the way. I mean, for now, it seems like the trade is going down. He's actually been trading to the dock from teal. But, um, you know, I feel like if they have any chance at doing it, it's going to have to be on water against Arch. And these heavy demos have just been wrecking. Just massive explosions on these ships. Woof. Worth the investment. Gray. Oh, no. The king is in that TC. King is in the TC. And what a what a sniping army. The Step Lancers and the Mangadai. Similar to what happened before. The king is in the castle, though. Nice save there from the bird-loving Asian. I love how Gray had to use the moment to tell us his favorite bird earlier. It was very satisfying. Purple making progress? Purple making progress? What is happening? War wagons and husk girls combined? You know, really has Teal reeling at the moment. And Paddington's like, I can give you all the resources I can. But Paddington, what your teammate needs is help. Your teammate needs support. And you don't have the population to support because you're on water, and because you've got Fatorias. So, does Orange have it in him to delete Fatorias and make army? Because that's what Teal is asking for. I Props to No Trick Pony again, and props to Gray for fighting this back. I really, I saw post Mongols, I saw Fatorias with 100 Bombard Towers, and I just thought, there's no way. Oh, God. Please don't lose all your trebs to a ramp. Oh, God. Okay, well, I shouldn't have complimented you. That's really on me. All the treads are going down. T will maybe stabilize. I think Siege Onager could also be a really nice move. If you have the resources, that is, for Teal. Step Lancers and Mangadai should be pretty good here. Again, Purple's King is here. That is where Purple's King is. Purple's got more Navy coming out to combat Orange. Orange is dropping towers here on this shoreline. Purple's going to attempt to drop a castle in that area. Teal's close to to the castles, so should be able to make more Mangadai all the time. Close to the stables as well for Step Lancers. Gray won't be able to do it on his own. Purple won't be here for a while. Wait, Gray was an enemy to Teal and Orange that whole time? Huh? I swore he was fighting. I'm a little confused. Maybe I... Maybe he wasn't engaging that whole time. I, I mean, I know he was losing the battles. I would explain it. Maybe he had them on neutral. Because I think they fight back if they're on neutral, but they have to be attacked first. And these bomber towers. Generally speaking, my rule of thumb is that I would like my viewers to use in community games is kill the bomber tower player. If you see someone making Bombard Towers, kill. Because it can get out of hand in the long run. But there's no way that, that Teal is just going to turn on Orange now. That you need Orange. And, uh, you know, maybe later on, 
there'll be a world where that that happens but it doesn't make a lot of sense when you're in a 2v2 essentially at this point in time I think step lancers trade well enough against the infantry plus then you have the mangadai gray needs help on land here guys and meanwhile demos from orange orange is just having a field day with demos and grace's perp need help on land these buildings, all the barracks, the whole base is going to disappear very quickly if there's not help here. But I just don't know if you can get that composition. Like, feels like for Teal, the issue was just didn't have the Mangadai mass. And Orange is even contributing with champions, too. Like, this is amazing. They're doing economic damage. And Purple's going to try, but they need a King Snipe. They need a King Snipe, or they need to try and convince Teal or Orange to turn on the other. But I think it would be like there's like what do you give teal that orange isn't already giving you? Orange is gonna give you resources, and orange is supporting very well with army on water and on land. So the argument would have to be, hey, if you kill us, orange is gonna kill you. And even then, if I was teal, I'd be pretty happy with how good my Mangadai are doing. I'd feel like maybe I even have the better sit. I will zoom out and check the Bombard Towers for kill count, but I'm going to do that a bit later. I don't actually think they'll have that many kills. Like, Okay, well, these towers have 14 already, and they're new. But there haven't been that many engagements near the massive Bombard Towers in recent times. And a lot of Bombard Towers did go down that probably already had kills. Guys, let's not forget, Gray still has a king. And if you're going to go out, and you know you're gonna die, you can do exactly what Dr. Jonathan M. Prudius Maximus did earlier in the game. And you can send that king into someone's base. Now getting it to Orange's base or Orange's king location would be way more difficult than getting it to Teal's base. That king is currently inside of that castle. Castle's barely gonna stay alive here, but it does feel like the next wave of rams can take out the castles. Teal just going to ask for gold. I wanted to see. Do I have tribute events on? I do have tribute events on. So maybe I just missed it if it happened earlier. Maybe it didn't happen at all. I remember before I think Teal was offered resources and maybe didn't accept. Orange says, yeah, can I get banking first? <laughs> okay, so Orange is like, let me get banking first. Let's save these resources. Bang and I are nuts. Ridiculous, you know, 100 plus kills. It is 70 Mangadai, but still. Purple's king is on water. Gray's king is on land. Very close to all of this. And it's just a matter of time. Like, guys, even Huskarls die to these things, right? You have 10 Pierce Armor. The Mangadai are doing still doing 2 damage a hit, and they fire this quickly, and there's so many of them. Even the Huskarls get shredded. You just don't have an answer to this. With some things in this game, it's stopping them from being able to afford it. Purple still trying to fight back on water. Been really good micro from Purple and Orange. I've been impressed. And okay, Gray's on the move. So, and it's, it's important to note that Gray left the castle prior to it going down. So this is Gray controlling it, most likely. I think Gray sees the writing is on the wall here and that this isn't going to be a victory. May just be to go to a safer castle, actually. Okay. Uh, it just hurts, right? You're losing your barracks. You're losing your castles. Even if you might get a semi-decent fight, it's just... You're losing ground. Great. There's only one way for you, my friend. The only way you have an effect on this game, it can give Purple a shot. Purple's actually sneaking up buildings here. The only way is if you get that king into a transport ship or get that king over to Teal's base. Should actually be able to just run directly into Teal's base. Now, they should be researching Treason right now, if they have gold. You can tell that Treason has been researched before, because they see Purple's King location, but... I think you should just... You should be doing it now. If you've got someone on the brink of elimination, make the move. And Gray says, alright, I'm going in, Perp. Remember my sacrifice? Tell my imaginary children I love them. <laughs> Purple says K. <laughs> he says K. <laughs> 
He doesn't even say bye or like, thank you for your sacrifice. Like some people put in so much effort. But purple's like, nah. <laughs> and there goes gray. And gray's dead. Now for teal, teal's gonna need to leave here. All right. And Teal's going to lose all the castles. This is going to hurt Teal regardless of if Teal is defeated or not. Teal realizes and is now running with the king. Now, simultaneously, Purple decided my only way to win this on my own is with a wonder, which Purple's now building, which I love. I think that, you know, it's maybe something I should have brought up before. But Teal goes, ah! And, uh, you know, now you don't really have much of a base anymore. And also, you've got a ton of army on land. That won't help with the water situation. So anyways, well done there from uh, from Gray. I think that is going to have a big effect here. Arnst is great snipe, thinking that Teal had just killed the king. Being a very supportive teammate. But that's not the case. Anyways, there's the wonder. Now, I would prefer that you have more villagers building this, right? Because it takes so long to build the wonder... But going for Wonder Victory is good because Teal doesn't have docks and Teal isn't prepared for Navy. It's really only Orange that's been doing so. And this is your way to win 1v2. But yes, ideally you have 40 villagers. It's hard to put that many villagers into transport though. I, I'll settle for 18. Um, Purple, in all fairness, was also at one point trying to support on land as well. So, so yeah. Purple also still has a mass here. I'm not sure if Orange has noticed this. And might eventually try and pop out here and go for the king kill. It's what it seems like this is. So Teal is gonna be take is gonna need some time to recover. Um Purple's got a pretty solid navy mass. I say before every game, remember guys, relic and wonder victory is possible. And here come more villagers to finish building this. Gray is asking what my favorite bird is. I, I don't... I'm going to say a bald eagle. Is that too American of a response? Bald eagles are really cool. I think that's way too American, but... Teal says, now what? And Orange says, kill purple, then we can duel. And Teal laughing. And I'm sure these two are having a good time. They've been friends this whole time. They've been very kind to each other. There's been a lot of respect. But... I think purple can do this. I think this can happen. I think that purple can hold. It'll take a while, and it'll probably be a dogfight here, but well played purple to attempt this. <laughs> a penguin? <laughs> no. I would probably say bald eagle. I did see uh, like a bird show at a nature preserve, and uh, they had peregrine falcons. Pe How do I say peregrine falcons? Is that it? I think that's it. Anyways, they're incredible. They're really cool. So that would probably be my second favorite bird. Anyways, Teal's going to water. Let's check stockpiles real quick. I mean, doesn't have that much gold. And nor does Orange, actually. And Teal also has a lot of that population on land. Which I guess you can keep, but you can't really help out. I guess you could. You could, you could bring your Mangadai here, but... Galleon should be pretty good for purple. I didn't see purple stockpile. Purple stockpile also not great, but the towers can be helpful to give orange a taste of their medicine and and also taking some gold here is going to be helpful for now by transport. Wow, you villagers got out of there in the at the perfect time. There's the wonder. We I think we all have to say the wonder looks amazing. It's a wonderful wonder as we close in on the two hour mark. And, uh, you know, Orange has to clear this up because that was kind of sneaky. Holy freaking demos, Orange. That's a lot of demos. Even looks like one of the Fatorias almost went down over here. But, uh, again, the goal is the same goal for both Teal and Orange at this point. Go for the water. Let's see. I fell in love with them after reading My Side of the Mountain as a kid. Oh, my God. That's one of my favorite books ever. Maybe that's why I love them. That is an amazing book. I'm a nostalgia reader. I don't read that much, but if I do read, I'm reading a lot of the stuff that I read as a kid. It's like re-watching like, that show or movie, you know, that you've watched a million times. Oh my, that's a lot of docs from Teal. Um, my Side of the Mountain is an awesome, awesome uh, book. You know, it's kind of funny 
is it did half inspire me when I got angry at my parents and wanted to run away from home. So I don't know if my parents really... I mean, I, I was too much of a, a wimp to actually run away from home, but I packed my bags a couple times, and I was like, yeah, my side of the mountain, I can carve hollow out a tree, and I can find a falcon, and, you know... There was, there was that part of me that thought it was possible because of that book. <laughs> uh, do you think the wonder timer should be shorter for community games? No, I think it's fine. It is a long time, but if it wasn't a long time, I think we'd see it all the time. Because, like, people who are smart with it would fortify well ahead of time and bank up res. This is a bit of a desperation moment from Purple. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good book. That and the Hatchet series. Um, that there was like a lot of people don't know if you know the book Hatchet. There's like four or five of them. I was really big into that. I actually had the author of Hatchet sign my book at like a book signing thing at a bookstore when I was like twelve or something. Well, Purple's doing what he can. He's got Purple's got Navy. Purple's uh trying to avoid unnecessary engagements. Um, they're dropping towers, even if Orange is quickly taking out the towers. So you run in, hey, I'm going to fight you. Now you're not attacking my tower. Oh my god, that is a lot of demos. Oh my goodness. Goodbye to your ship. Spread them out because the demos are coming to town. Holy. Uh, I mean, you did also just lose 30 pop if you're Orange. But enough for the dramatic effect. I think that looks pretty cool. Everyone loves good heavy demo action. A teal here with a couple fires. This is possibly things to come. Is it just me or is that trade cog moving really fast? And teal's got navy coming this way as well and it's 280 years for purple. I don't know if purple can do it. But purple clears this up. Like th the idea of demos is that you kill a bunch of ships with your hits and that's great. But you still lost 30 pop. You still lost 30 ships you can't use again. Does seem like that purple mainly fortified in preparation for orange. And that could be an issue here because Teal's coming to town. Great job from Teal. Teal quickly added some trade to get more gold income right before the Navy. I know Teal had trade this whole time, but I'm pretty sure Teal added more. Speaking of more, there's more Fatorias. So it's actually been five Fatorias for orange. Dang. That means he's got, like, how many villagers does he have? 15! Okay. Makes sense to have 81 army. And then also have 5 Fatorias. 5 Fatorias take up 100 pop space. Grace has got COVID, called in sick today, and then got into my first commie game. 11 out of 10 will get COVID again. Well, get well soon. Congrats? <laughs> What do I say there? <laughs> Congrats on one thing, not on the other. Would be so epic if somehow purple could build something up on land at the same time, but there's just no way, right? And I also think 250 years. I mean, 100 years has passed. But with the military count we're seeing, or the Navy count we're seeing, you know, from both the players coming up against purple here, this is going to be really tricky. I think the wonder could have happened when Grey was still alive. I, I get why Purple would try and time it. But at the end of the day, there's a long timer. And Grey would have been a nice distraction. So I think the, the wonder would have needed to happen earlier. But I mean, Orange slowly crawling in yet. Hasn't pushed through this yet. Might misclick into a bunch of towers. A couple fast fire ships. Teal's still making progress here, though. Purple losing what's left of the land eco to the Hussars from Teal. So what happens when Teal and Orange end up taking down Purple's Wonder? Purple's King is trapped, so I don't think Purple's going to be able to escape. So Purple will probably die. And then the two players who fought together for so long are going to have to make some type of an agreement. I mean... Teal's not necessarily in a position to make deals because the king is right there and exposed and there's nothing to protect it. 
Uh, turtle ships, fire ships, galleons from purple. Doing a pretty good job here. If it was just a 1v1, you'd have a lot more faith that this was maybe doable. It's not a 1v1, though. It is a 2v1. And Hyathin here is right back at it. Still not sure how to say that. 69 eco for teal. But that is that probably includes trade, right? So that's uh, 52 trade of the 69 eco. There might even be fishing ships. So yeah, you wanted to know how much eco teal has. Teal doesn't have much. But I think trade matters more than anything. And there's plenty of food banked up. So it's actually really good to free up pop space. A lot of players don't free up pop space to make the army when they need it. I like the line of towers. Um, you know, I like the, the occasional turtle ship, but it's just it's just too much. With 200 years to go. If there was ever a time to prep a snipe on your, your teammate right now, if you're orange or if you're teal, this would be the moment. Because it does feel like it is inevitable that purple will go down. Wait, where's purple's king? Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I freaked out. I clicked this because it says purple kill this. I want to know what happened here. Uh. Okay, well, there's no explosion because the king sank. The wonder does get destroyed, though, immediately. And it was beautiful to watch. GG's called. All right. Orange tried to escape, but was completely surrounded. King couldn't escape. So, it is now Paddington the second versus Teal. Piathan. Peathan. Uh, Peeen. <laughs> um, Paddington, this whole game, has been really respectful towards Teal. Respects Teal. They've worked together this whole time. Says GG, really well played. Teal's like, yeah, you too. So we started this game with a lot of like love and admiration towards each other. Everyone was so kind. Eventually... Their worlds got ripped apart. But these two have stuck together pretty much the whole time. And now what happens? There's a temptation for these two to try and do some type of duel or deal. Because they, um... They, they, they feel so much uh, respect towards their teammate. They don't want to kill them. And oh boy! One villager?! This is your wow moment? Oh god, now Teal's making one with two villagers. Oh, the great wonder race. You Are you guys kidding me? You can't find more villas to build your freaking wonders? This is your master plan? Wonder race? One villager versus two villas? Anyways, they're like, neither did I. Great first game. Didn't think you'd get in here. Anyways, Teal's catching up. Teal's catching up. There we go. We just got to wait like six hours. Then the wonders will complete. And then we got to wait eight more hours because go for the wonder. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, here come more villas from Teal. Orange would have to transport more villagers. This is going to take some time. Orange does have... They both have a lot of navy. Um, Someone wanted to see the kills from the towers. Now would be a would not be a bad time to check 68 that's it just 68 kills from all the towers wait no that's 68 towers i'm stupid it's 99 kills um about to be 69 towers but yes teal is now winning the wonder race orange did bring more villagers i'm gonna assume that does anyone know if either of these civs don't get treadmill crane it feels like orange has it and teal does not I feel like Teal should be further ahead. I know Wonder Building's a slow process, but... Yeah, like, prepping this right away would have been the play. But I don't think they ever have interest in fighting. So Teal says, first to complete Wonder wins, and Arnst is sure. Oh, God. Okay. Well, Teal was winning, and you accepted that deal. Where are the transport ships here? Oh, Arnst is producing more vills? <laughs> He's producing more fills. Um, I don't know how many villagers are out here. Wait a second. Orange has trebs. Well, I mean, if he destroys it before it's completed, that's not against the rules. Hmm. Orange says you started with more vills. Yeah, because he had more than one. 
Doofus. He says, gotta make it more even. I guess because of the towers. Teal, you do have Mangadai that can shred Siege. If you are looking here, you might want to consider turning on this person. Yeah. Hey, 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 there. Hey, Teal. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you better turn fast. Oh, goodbye, Wonder. Oh, we attacked the Trebs first. Oh, the drama. Oh. It just has to complete. It doesn't mean it can't be on fire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get back to building. Get back to building. This was a distraction. Get back to building. All right. So how many builds are building? We've got uh, nine building against 12. Oh, dude, this is going to be close, actually, because Orange is adding more builds. I'm actually interested in this. This is kind of doing something for me. I think that Orange will catch up. Teal doesn't have more villagers, right? Teal doesn't even have a TC. Okay, Orange is going to make army. So there is that aspect. Honestly, just sniping villagers would maybe be the play under their current agreement. It is nine villagers building against now 14. Meaning that Paddington II will overtake in the build speed. Eventually. And yeah, just kill the Vils. Yeah, this is the right play. It's new rules now. Yep, and Teal realized. Oh no, not my Vils. Well played. Yep, another Vil down. And just like that, Orange overtakes. And now I guess Teal would have to... Teal has Navy! Ah! <laughs> and Orange is like, oh crap, I forgot my Navy. <laughs> this is great, actually. <laughs> I, I'd normally expect these things to suck. Oh, but the towers really ruin this, don't, doesn't it? I think you just have to run past the towers. Yeah, this is the correct play. You run past the towers and try and disrupt the wonder. Because, you you know, the game's going to end when the wonders are up. Well, not technically, but, you know, that that's what the agreement is. Orange is pop-capped? Oh, I guess every time Orange loses a villager, though, Orange won't be pop-capped anymore. Oh, this is insane. Galleons need to kill Vils. It's got to be below like 7 or 8, right? This is at 10. Oh, uh, man. I think Orange is going to be able to hold the lead. Unless Teal has more villagers somewhere. Teal quick walled. And oh, Cavalier in. Yep, Cavalier sniping the Vils. Great play from Orange. Yeah, they made the ending somewhat decent, exactly. First community game ever for Teal. Orange has played before. Orange played experienced. What made this game unique was that we did have a lot of people who were new. And I think Teal's just going to tap out here. 60% just resigns before the wonder goes up. Paddington the second wins the game. I, it was an interesting one, right? Like, I think it was obvious that we had players who really didn't want to make mistakes. Players didn't want to take any risks early. It was a low-risk game. And I wasn't sure what it was going to turn into in terms of the battles because, you know, like, it, it, I couldn't, didn't have a lot to go off of. But, you know, teams were fo teams formed and alliances were made and then there were some betrayals from time to time. But what also was really cool is what players recognized, and you could tell, these guys clearly have watched these Exploding King games, is they're like, hey, if I'm going to die... I'm taking somebody with me. Uh, and that's what happened earlier when Green hopped out of the game, ended up killing Yellow. And um, there were other attempts at that from time to time. Also really like the Wonder Choice. Um, I think the Wonder Choice was good from Purple. I think it could have worked if Purple did it while Gray was still fighting. Because Gray, like, then Teal wouldn't have been able to switch onto Water to help as quickly, because Teal would have still been fighting Grey. Or if Teal tries to come on water, then that keeps Grey alive, because then Grey is able to still threaten on land. So I think, ultimately, the idea was there, just maybe the timing wasn't. Um, Yeah, I mean, Fatoria's, right? The second they went up, we knew it could be dangerous. 18,000 stone brought in, 83,000 gold brought in. Uh, they didn't punish the Fatoria's. There was no real conversation about doing so. And I don't think 
Paddington II was necessarily mean to anyone or gave anyone a reason to punish those victorious. Easy for us to see it. Easy for us to talk about. Hard for the players to execute on. Um, KD is also included in the conversation here. 1,600 kills from, from Orange. Uh, great job from Teal, though, as well with 1,600 kills. Those guys, that was basically like a tie for first place, if you ask me, because they both really needed each other. And uh, yeah, overall, fun game. Hope people enjoyed. I really like it when we have games where we've got new people, right? Um, it, it's interesting with community games. Sometimes you'll have the newer people mixed with a couple veterans. And sometimes the new people will be super nice, which is what happened here. Or, uh, you know, sometimes you got people who are a little bit aggressive. People who like some drama. so <laughs> Or at least like the violence. Great game, though. Well played, everybody.